We're here at Marshall HQ in sunny Milton Keynes to find out all about the brand new Marshall YJM 100 head. <laughs> So that's how the new amp sounds, but let's show you how they're made. And now it's over to Marshall's Chris George to give us more details of the new YGM 100. Hi guys, and welcome to this uh, exclusive Guitarist Magazine look at the Marshall YGM 100, the Yngwie Malmsteen signature amp. Now, whether you're a fan of Yngwie or not, this amp uh, may appeal to you, as from the front it looks very unassuming like an old classic Marshall Plexi, but all the cool features are actually on the back. It's very toned down on the front, and the only thing that indicates that this is, uh, is anything different from a plexi from the front panel is the fact that it's got three little letters that say YJM rather than JMP. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you around some of the, uh, some of the very cool features and as you can see we're, I've actually spun the head around so we're looking at the rear panel of the amp. I've got all the dials on the front set to about seven and I've got the volume turned all the way up. However it's not deafening everybody in the room here because I've brought it down on the power control just there 
You can go from everything from 100 watts right down to 0.1 watt. Uh, if you uh, are aware with the Marshall AFD uh, Appetite for Destruction slash AMP, then you uh, know that you'll be familiar with the built-in power attenuation. This has also got an addition of a 50 watt switch, so at any point you can take out two of the power valves so you get that more kind of compressed feel, which we'll have a look at. And also you've got the additions of built-in reverb, a boost section consistent of volume and gain, and also an excellent noise gate. So with the amp pretty much straight up, all I've done is brought the power down, as I said, and now I'm, uh, I've brought in a little bit of reverb as well. You get great kind of blues tones and stuff. <laughs> You can hear the reverb in there as well. What I'm going to do now is quickly uh, press in the, the 50 watt switch. And as with a lot of 50 watt uh, power stages, we hear the sound starts to become more compressed now. So the reverb that you've been hearing so far as well, the level is set on about uh, a third, but just to give you an idea of how much is in there, there's a lot of reverb in there. This is it cranked up full. And now onto the boost section, which is uh, probably the most fun part of this amp. I've got the volume and gain boost uh, set all the way up. I've got the threshold of the noise gate set fairly high on about two thirds, um, but still enough to get feedback and stuff like that. When you engage the boost, the noise gate comes on automatically. And also all this stuff so far, the, uh, the boost, the gate, the reverb and the effects loop is all foot switchable as well. So this is now the amp with the boost section. <laughs> So that gives you uh, some idea of what the amp can do when it's opened up to its full potential. Incidentally, as I said, the noise gate is on in there. So um, back on the boost, if I take the gate out, you'll hear how much gain there is actually in there. And then sticking the gate back in, it's absolutely silent. But as you could see from playing just now, all those, um, all those notes that you're holding and stuff like that, it gets them really good. So, and you can adjust the threshold to make it suit yourself. So, um, so that's pretty much it. Um, Couple of other things, it's EL34 uh, power valves. It's built right here at our UK factory. Comes with a whole other host of goodies like a, a red uh, Ferrari red cover and stuff like that. And for more information on this amp, head over to uh, marshallamps.com.